And joining me now is Scott Thompson, the CEO of Astoria Company. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Eddie. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for joining us. So how has this conference been for you? The conference has been great. I've been coming to Affiliate Summit for eight years and watching the show grow and see it evolve and uh, be a great part of our business, helping us network and find new clients has been uh, very beneficial for us. Great, glad to hear it. So can you just tell us a little bit about Astoria Company? So Astoria is kind of a unique breed. Um, I've been in business 10 years and I started making websites by myself on my computer, started with education leads and took that knowledge and developed into insurance leads, developed into mortgage leads and went into most B2C verticals. And today we own a lead generation platform and we also own a papercallmarketing.com, which is our paper call affiliate network where we host over 150 campaigns. And then we also own about 30 websites in different B2C verticals, all of your mainstream lead gen sites from mortgageleads.com, attorney leads, best insurance leads, online college degree, home services, auto finance, payday. Um, so if anybody's into lead generation, we should be talking. Yes, that <laughs> sounds like that. <laughs> so can you give us a little bit of background on how you got started in this industry? How I got started in the industry was uh, back in the 90s when a good friend of mine um, asked me to come work at a company that he was raising money for in San Francisco called Mediaplex. And, and we did um, online media buying. Uh, we were buying advertising for agencies, traditional ad agencies, mm -hmm. when the internet was just new and they didn't really understand CPM, CPC, right. what all that meant. So we would get in the marketing budgets and we had a technology for tracking and reporting back then. And so it was back in the mid to late 90s that I really got this business in my DNA and yeah. I just never left it. I love it. Just never left it, <laughs> just kept going. So I like to hear. Seems like um, everyone in the industry is really passionate and loves what they do. So it's, it's the kind of the, the vibes I've been getting from everyone, which is good. Absolutely, absolutely. It is it's great to be in a room where everyone is like that. And it just makes networking, connecting, um, and potentially doing business with new people so much easier. Absolutely, you meet people from all over the world. You make a lot of um, industry friends that become true friends and uh, and I like making money with people. What's wrong with that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> so currently, what are some trends you're noticing in the space? Well, what I see in um, the lead generation space and the paper call space, compliance and legal is becoming more and more prevalent. You really have to understand where the leads are coming from. Um, it's become that it's become more important today than ever to really have your own websites, generate your own traffic so you know the source of those leads. Mm. There's too many known litigators, too many email screamers, people that are trying to, you know, extort you for money, really. Mm. And, and they try and uh, feed off of people in this industry. People are trying to do the right thing, but at the same time, there's also companies out there that are recycling data and to the extent that you can control the lead quality by generating leads yourself or identify those partners that are legit, that really do generate their leads and they've got Janaya Lead ID, they're TCPA compliant, they do everything the right way. Those are partners that you can scale with um, over time and, and have a great relationship with. That's, that is awesome. Um, I think that's a good segue into my next question. What piece of advice could you offer for newcomers to this industry? For newcomers into this industry, I would say to try and find a category of lead generation or paper call that you're truly interested in and really learn that. Try and get involved with the technology, understand what is behind the website, understand what's behind content and developing your own content and then your social media ch channels and then um, you know, really how to generate your own leads and, and, and systematize that and develop your own system. And then once you've done that for one site, maybe one vertical, you can take that knowledge and then you can apply it to another vertical. That's what I've done. That's how I've gotten into 15 different verticals and scaled over the last 10 years. 
So you That's started with one, um, you know, understood, I guess, the ins and outs of the one vertical, get good at it, focus on that. And then from there, if you get success in that one vertical, then you can try and replicate that in a new vertical. Absolutely. In this business, what you'll find is a lot of guys are just really vertically focused. They go deep on one thing, which is fine. My style is a little bit different. I like to be diversified so that if there's seasonality with something or a particular vertical has some type of regulatory compliance issue at the federal or state level that would impact you, you don't have all your eggs in one basket and you're mm -hmm. diversified. And what you learn about this business is technically, strategically, and from your skill set, you can apply that knowledge to just about any other vertical. So you can diversify yourself should you choose, if that's interesting to you, or you just go deep in one vertical and stay in that lane. Cool, that's great info for our viewers out there. And we just started a new year, first month of the new year, 2020. What do you think are gonna be the biggest opportunities for 2020 and even beyond? 2020 and beyond, um, there's a lot of uh, great opportunities right now. Um, one of the big segments that we're into because we own MortgageLeads.com is mortgage. We do see um, a lot of housing starts um, from a construction standpoint. And so new purchase leads are going to become a bigger part of the overall mortgage uh, play, mortgage lead gen play. Right now it's primarily dominated by refinancing, but I see that, ha that happening in, in mortgage. And also something that I've been studying a lot recently, which is telemedicine, which is online doctors. Um, mm. So that whole industry of healthcare, and online doctors and prescriptions that has been in 2018 globally was something like 20 billion dollars globally and the reports that i've seen say that it's by by the end of 2021 it's going to double so wow. it's doubling into globally a 40 billion dollar industry within a couple of years that is one segment i'm paying attention to i'm yeah. buying domain names around that and i'm making strategic partners around that so that's one thing I'm doing. I think that's a good, uh, good prediction for what's going to be big this year. And that's pretty interesting. It's online doctors, you're saying? Online doctors where you can go and you can interface with a doctor one-on-one -on -one, live. You can get your prescription. You don't have to, you can do it on your phone. You can do it on your computer. You don't have to go anywhere. They overnight ship you the medicine or it gets uh. there within two days. And um, they don't have all of the... Um, restrictions that walking into a hospital, seeing your doctor and going through that process, which sometimes can't be fun. Now let's face it, sometimes you have to see a doctor, there's yeah. certain things, but there's a lot of things where you don't have to go in and actually be present where the doctor can reach out and touch you. Mm. And so that is becoming a big deal right now. That sounds like a big game changer for the, <laughs> the medical industry, for sure. It certainly is, and healthcare. Yeah, very true. Lastly, for those out there that are interested in working with Astoria Company, how can they best reach out? Where can they find you online? Well, again, just to recap, Astoria Company, we own papercallmarketing.com, which is a paper call network. We have 150 offers, so we're always looking to work with advertisers and publishers that are skilled at paper call. And then we also uh, own a lot of websites ourselves, so we carry our own brands to generate our own leads. We buy and sell leads on host and post and ping post. And so if you have your own websites and you have the skill set around that and you're looking for buying and selling in payday, mortgage, auto home, health and life insurance, home improvement, auto financing, education, online college degree, that's us, one of our sites. Come talk to us, AstoriaCompany.com. AstoriaCompany.com. <laughs> Eddie Grand, Scott Thompson. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Great job.